to pray Listen to what God has to say As you stop and learn about our God each day Stop, stop, stop and learn uh, G'day there, Mark. And we've just been to Alan White's place at Sunnyside and now we're sitting here in this beautiful location at this bench. Whereabouts are we? Well, Arnie, we've moved from Sunnyside, as you said, and now we're actually on location at Avondale University. Of course, it wasn't always known as Avondale University. Would you like to know what it used to be called? Uh, well, Mark, I think I know. I think it was Avondale College. And before that, it had other names mm. too. I think uh, something like our Missionary College. Australasian Missionary College. Ah, uh, Australasian Missionary College, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was when I was a young fella. And I think perhaps even before that, it might have been known simply as Avondale Training School for Bible Workers. Well, there you go. It's had a few names then, hasn't it? Yes, it's had a few names and a few name changes. Now, what would be interesting, of course, is to ask, how did this place get started? Mm. How did it get started, Mark? And what did Alan White have to do with it? And what did Alan White have to do with it? So. What happened, of course, Arnie, is that Ellen was here in Australia and one of the things that she wanted to do while she was here was to help set up a training college for ministers and teachers and Bible workers. But it didn't start here. Mm. The first place they had the Bible training school was in Melbourne. In Melbourne. But being in Melbourne, that meant it was in town. Mm -hmm. And of course, Ellen liked things out of town. So they were looking around for a property, trying to find a place to have a training school somewhere that wasn't in the city. And that meant they looked in lots of different places, trying to find where they would set up a training school for Bible workers. Why did they need a training school? You got any idea, Arnie? Ah, oh, well, they needed pastors. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they also needed to train teachers. Ah, yes, they needed teachers as well. Yes, not just for here in Australia, mm -hmm. but for New Zealand mm -hmm. and the islands of the South Pacific. Yep. And so this place was to be a place that would train workers that could work for the church in various parts of the Pacific in particular. And sometimes they went to other parts of the world. Mm, and, and I guess the church was growing quite quickly at this time. Yes, it was. But what was interesting at the time they were looking to set up this place, Australia was in a depression, an economic depression. That means money was really hard to come by. Mm -hmm. And there was a drought, mm. a really bad drought that lasted for a while. So Ellen and her companions, her son Willie White, uh, union president, Arthur Daniels, they were looking around trying to find a place and it was really difficult to do. And eventually they came across this property, but they weren't sure what to do about it. Mm -hmm. But you know what? She had a vision. I'm going to have to tell you more about that next time, honey. Oh, so I'm going to have to wait. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to have to wait till next time and then I'll tell you how it was they mm -hmm. chose this place to be the place where the training school was set up. Well, excellent. One of the reasons they wanted the training school because it was because that was found in the Bible too. Okay, so it's biblical. Yeah. Awesome. So they were following the biblical principle. Mm -hmm. Just like Elisha had schools of the prophets, they were setting up the school for people to train to follow Jesus. Well, praise God that happened then, Mark. Yes. Now, I'm Arnie from Arnie Chat, and you have been listening to Bible Buddies. A bit of time is up for today, and I'll be looking out for you again sometime soon. So take care, stay safe, and God bless. Learn about our wonderful God each day. Stop, stop, stop